Chile. This wall and the bed, everything is of salt. Hola, Hola. namaste. This is Pubali. This is Sindranil and we are Paradise Catchers. We are an Indian couple living in Costa Rica and we bring to you stories about traveling and digital nomad life in Latin America. Wow, it's like a dream come true. The salt flats of Ujuni that we had read about only in geography books. Wait, wait, wait. Pubali is excited, but let us go back to the start of the journey first. The night we came to Ujuni from Potosi by bus. We just reached Ujuni. It's so cold outside. I think it's around four degree, but it feels like minus one, and it's, it's a bit windy, which is why we are waiting inside the terminal and we are waiting for our taxi to arrive uh, for the pickup. But the bus ride was four hours, but it stopped a lot. Buenos dias. We'll start our trip from this small town Ujuni. It looks arid. It seems that we are already in a desert. We are waiting for our guide. Our first stop will be the train cemetery. The trains were imported from the UK in the early 20th century when it was meant to help with the transportation of the mining industry. But the project did not materialize as it should have been, which is why these trains were abandoned. And now it created this rustic Hostly train cemetery. And it just adds a character to the desert like environment of Ujuni, and so this is a nice place for photo ops. Our oh. Ujuni's tour has started. We are starting with this train graveyard, and we are sitting in a dead train. The trains were used for carrying minerals at once at some point of time, but now this is just a graveyard of trains. And we are sitting inside it, like just outside the rustic town, Ujuni. Everything looks white even before we have reached the hot flats. It's like a desert. This is like an open museum. Hundreds of structures like this and also graffitis. And transformers as well. Why not? <laughs> Maybe Mad Max at some point of time? After the train cemetery, we are on the dusty roads again. There are lots of barren lands and little vegetation. The hills look like they are floating. Are those the salt flats? Our guide stopped here. We are hungry and this is the place we will have our lunch. We had a stop here for lunch. This is such a cute place. All this is made of salt. Here's a jama. <laughs> this table where I'm seated, everything is made of salt and with these beautiful cushions. I was so happy just to see this place. These are the salt bricks that are used for construction. Uh, you can see that this is the top part, which is basically the salt, and then this is the solidified mud. So, this is something that you can get after the monsoon when the water evaporates. Water evaporates and leave this top salt layer. And uh, the tour company Red Planet, they organized such an amazing lunch. We had, we had fresh salad, some quinoa. I'm usually not too fond of quinoa, but I love the quinoa here. I had two servings of quinoa with some meat, uh, potato. Of course, when you're in Bolivia, you have to have potato. And uh, of course, uh, water and Coke. So it was a very nice lunch in this cute place. It looks like a salt museum. This place also has some impressive structures made of salt, like the clock and this jama. And there are stores which sell souvenirs. So we are just checking out that, like, what kind of souvenirs we can get. All of these are made of salt. And now we will head to our much awaited destination, the Salt Flats. As we are back on the road and approaching the Salt Flats, 
Now the road slowly turns indistinguishable. Now let's get back to the story where we left off. How I was so excited to see the Bolivia salt flats for the first time. The salt flats of Ujuni that we had read about only in geography books. Now we are here. Can't contain the excitement. This is entry to the Salar de Ujuni. But this is an interesting place where uh, there are many uh, flags from different countries, explorers who have come here before, travelers who have come here before have put the flags from those countries here and we found ours too. So definitely there have been some Indians I assume here and uh, who put up the flag and so we could take some pictures. And also our host country, Costa Rica. There is a hotel which is not functional anymore, which was the first salt hotel. We just took a look inside. This was the first hotel made of salt built in the 90s. However, for practical purposes and environment, this hotel stopped functioning in the early 2000s. There are uh, heaps of salt just beside the hotel, which is how probably the salts are extracted. Uh, there are like few centimeters of salt at the top, which is probably the best and after that it gets muddy. The Salar de Ujuni or the salt flats of Ujuni were formed thousands of years ago when many lakes evaporated and the salts were left behind. The altitude of the flats doesn't change a lot which is why when we were approaching the salt flats the hills looked like they were floating in the air. As we drive further it seems like we are driving through a sea and this is the place where the hexagonal shapes are becoming prominent. This is formed during the monsoon after the water evaporates. All sorts of geometric patterns are created like hexagons or different polygonal shapes. There can be multiple explanations of these patterns and one can be that there can be places where the water is saltier and that's why the salt gets crystallized more at those places and creates those ridges and the less saltier water evaporates from the flatter part of the shapes. The fun part of the dry season is that you can take perspective photos. Our okay. guide made us do all sorts of things which we wouldn't have done probably in our life. But that created those fun perspective photos. This one, that one, that one, that one. Oh no, not this one. This is our Instagram pose. <laughs> Salty, noon. <laughs> the next stop is the Inkawasi Island, which will suddenly look like an oasis in the middle of the desert. Or is it? The tectonic plate movements of Nazca and the South American plate have created again this amazing island, the Inkawasi Island. But this is no ordinary island. This is an island which was supposed to be a volcano in a lake, inside a lake, under the water, which is why the rocks look like fossilized corals. Actually, they are fossilized corals. And they have now, after the tectonic movements, they have come above the water and created islands. There are many on the salt flats. When the water evaporated, leaving these salt flats behind. So now it's like an island rising out of the salt flats. And the wind and water had also brought the seeds, which is how the cactus has taken over the island. So we have like huge figures of cactus all over this island. The name of the island is Inkawasi because it's called the, the house of Inca. Although uh, I th people think that uh, when they were moving to the northern part of Chile and Argentina, they came through this place. But it may be true, may not be true. It's just that the name has been given based on the legend. Another name of the island is Fish Island or Isla del Pescado because from the top, this island looks like a fish. And now as we approach the day end, the logical thing would be to just sit and watch the sunset. Ujune is remote, but if you have come this far, why not immerse yourself completely experiencing one of the most extraordinary landscapes on our planet? While the sun is setting on the other end, on this side, the sky has a beautiful pink and blue line. 
The Ujuni sod flats are at an altitude of more than 3,500 meters above the sea level. But can you imagine that by looking at this vast flat stretch of white land? The first night of our Salar de Ujuni tour, we are going to stay here. This hotel is made completely of salt. This wall and the bed, everything is of salt. Uh, when when I first read that we are going to stay in a salt hotel, I saw uh, notices where they say that uh, do not lick the salt, do not lick and try to taste that if it is really made of salt. I thought who would put that kind of notice? When I told Indrail that we are going to stay in a salt hotel, he asked, oh really, can I lick? Then I knew why people put this notice. This was the first day of our trip from Ujuni to Atacama. In our second part, we will show the second day of our trip where we go from the salt flats to San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. We are getting ready for our second day, had a good breakfast. Today will be a long day and it will not be as easy as yesterday. <laughs> 